Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Yesterday I published a video about a 25,000 year old mammoth bone house that was discovered in Russia. And today I'm talking about another new discovery that's even older. Archaeologists have discovered two miniature stone engravings at an ancient site in Indonesia. One is a dwarf buffalo, and the other is interpreted as either a sun, star, flower or eye. The amazing thing about this discovery is that it dates back to 26,000 years ago, making this piece of Ice Age art the first of its kind in the region. Similar small engravings from around 20,000 years ago have been found in Europe and Western Asia, but the example from Indonesia certainly seems to be unique, in that they are clearly identifiable art pieces and may have been small enough to carry around from place to place. They were discovered in 2018 during excavations at the Sulawesi cave site of Leng Bulu Batu, and as you can see, initially the art was very difficult to make out. All we can see are a few insignificant straight lines. But in lab conditions, and using directed light, the figure of a dwarf buffalo, also known as Nanoa, came to life. Using the light of a small torch and the shadows cast, finer marks in the stone were seen. The experts saw a muzzle, nostril, eye, cheek and two straight horns. As stated on ancientorigins.net, the front part of the back and abdomen were also seen. 26,000 years is the oldest date estimate, and it could be as young as 14,000 years old, which is still an extremely ancient date. The style of art is similar to other stone engravings found in Eurasia, and the way the Anoa is depicted, with its head turned back towards its rump, is a common artistic choice. As stated on ancientorigins.net, the most famous example of this type of art is the Licking Bison of La Madeleine in France, which is a carving on a reindeer antler from between 21,000 and 14,000 years ago. The Anoa is native to Sulawesi, and experts think it was a source of meat, leather, horn and bone to the ancient people. It also features prominently in the cave paintings of Sulawesi, some of which date back to 44,000 years ago. The other piece of miniature stone art is what some think is a sunburst, but this of course is open to debate. We don't know when people first depicted the sun in works of art, and this new find could be the world's oldest example. The sun and its rays is best seen in the artwork of Amarna, an ancient capital in Egypt when Pharaoh Akhenaten promoted the worship of the Artan sun disk. But that could be around 20,000 years after the Indonesian miniature art was made. But this may not be depicting the sun at all, and there is no other evidence to go on, and even the experts admit it is guesswork. Other interpretations include a flower, a starfish, an eye or a star. The engraved lines are clear and obvious, more so than the engraved dwarf buffalo. According to ancientorigins.net, such strong lines in ancient art often represent something in the natural world. Interestingly, experts noted that the so-called sunburst was painted with a red pigment, and apparently the experts know that the paint was only applied to the lines. This could be evidence for it being a sunburst, and the red pigment would have certainly stood out on the dull natural colour of the rock. Sulawesi claims the oldest figurative rock art in the world, being at least 44,000 years old, and these two examples of portable rock art do add another dimension to the study of the ancient people who lived here. They are the first examples of pocket-sized art that have been found in this part of the world, and the experts believe that there are more to be found. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.